So uh, please uh, help me to uh, say welcome to Greg for his speech. We all know that it's just as important how we say something than what we say. Would you agree? So what methods do we use to enhance that? What do we do to add that how to our speech? We can do it by using something called vocal variety, which you heard of in the opening. So vocal variety, what does that mean? Well, it means using your voice. But how can you use your voice? Well, you can speak louder if you're trying to make a big point, or maybe you're angry, or get a point across, or it's a busy place. You can speak softer if it's a somber moment. You can speak really fast if you want to illustrate motion, or you can speak really slow if you're trying to sneak up on someone, or maybe create some suspense. Yeah, you can do that. You can speak really high, like Kermit the Frog, <laughs> if you're trying to maybe have a children's story. Talk about a children's story. Or you can speak really low, like James Earl Jones in those National Geographic specials. <laughs> but sometimes, fellow Toastmasters, you just want to pause for a transition between sections. <clears throat> okay, well that's fine. How do I put that all together into one speech that's going to make any sense? I have no idea. No idea. How am I going to make a purposeful presentation to present? No idea. So, I'm listening to the radio. And I'm listening to this song. It's called Spanish Train by Christa Berg. How many people here know Christa Berg? Yeah, a few of you. One of his famous songs is Lady in Red. In fact, did you know Christa Berg is actually half Irish? So that's pretty appropriate for tonight, wouldn't you think? But, as usual, I digress. But then it dawned on me. I said to myself, Greg, can song lyrics be used to illustrate vocal variety? Looked in the manuals, couldn't find anywhere that said I couldn't do it. And I thought, well, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? My evaluator will give me some suggestions for improvement, he will. <laughs> so, my quest this evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests, is to prove that song lyrics can be used to illustrate vocal variety. Now, I need your help. No, you don't, you don't have to sing. There's a train in the song. So when I go like this, I'd like you all to help me out. Can you do that for me? Yeah. OK, let's practice. One, two, three. Really good. So shall we begin? There's a Spanish train that comes between Guadalquivir and Old Seville. And in the dead of night, dead of night the whistle blows. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And people fear she's running still. And so they hush their children back to sleep. Lock the doors upstairs, they creep. Because it is said that the souls of the dead fill that train 10,000 deep. The railway man lay dying with people by his side. His family crying knelt in prayer before he died. But above his bed, just waiting for the dead was the devil with a twinkle in his eye. Now God's not around, and look what I found. This one's mine. But then, just then, the Lord appeared in a blinding flash of light and shouted at the devil, Give me hence to endless nights. But the devil just grinned and said, I may have sinned, but there's no need to push me around. I saw him first. You can do your worst. He's going underground. But I think I'll give you one more chance, said the devil with a smile. But throw away that stupid lance, it's really not your style. Joker's the name, poker's the game, we'll play right here on this bed. And then we'll play for the bigger stakes yet, the souls of the dead. And I said, Lord, Lord, you got to win. The sun is down and the night's riding in. That train is still on time. Many souls are on the line. Oh, Lord, you've got to win. So the railway man, he cut the cards, and he dealt them each a hand. 
of five. But for the Lord, he was praying hard for that train he'll have to drive. The devil, he had three aces and a king. And the Lord, he was running for a straight. He had the queen, the knave, the nine of ten of spades. All he needed was the eight. Then the Lord called one more card. And he drew the diamond eight. And the devil said to the scum of God, I believe you've got it straight. So deal me one, for the time has come to see who will be the king of this place. But as he spoke, from beneath his cloak, he slipped another ace. 10,000 souls was the opening bid. Soon, 59. But the Lord didn't see what the devil did, and he said, hmm, that suits me fine. I'll raise you high to 105 and forever put an end to your sin. But then the devil let out a mighty shout. My hand wins. And I said, Lord, Lord, you let him win. The sun is down and the night's riding in. That train is still on time. My soul's on the line. Oh, Lord, you let him win. Now, that Spanish train still runs between Guadalquivir and Old Seville. And in the dead of night, the whistle blows. And people fear she's running still. But far away in some recess, the Lord and the devil are now playing chess. The devil still cheats and wins more souls. But as for the Lord, well, he's just doing his best. And I said, Lord, oh, Lord, you got to win. The sun is down and the night's riding in. That train is still on time, but my soul is on the line. Oh, Lord. You've got to win. <laughs> Volume. Pitch. Rate. Quality. And the pause. So, do song lyrics, can song lyrics be used to illustrate vocal variety? What do you think? I bet my soul on it. Would you, Mr. Joseph Master?